Welcome to Desmond Stonders video from Port Gordon in the sunshine. Hope you enjoy the video. Welcome to Desmond Stonders. Let's head off on a donder. Oh, what do you know? Out early, on my own. Lindsay will join me tomorrow. She's a night shift tonight. But taking advantage of some lovely weather. It's already 25 degrees centigrade and we'll see what it gets to. But uh, looking west and Spay Bay. Uh, just on the left there and then in the distance, Lossy Mouth, and here we're at Port Gordon. Port Gordon. See seals, lots of birds already, and it's a lovely day. So, welcome to a Desmond Stonders. Port Gordon is a village in Moray, Scotland. It is southwest of Bucky on the coast. It was established in 1797 by Alexander Gordon, 4th Duke of Gordon, as a fishing village. It had a population of 844 at the time of the 2011 census. Currently, the Port Gordon Community Harbour Group is trying to regenerate the harbour and open it as a marina. By 1793, Bucky was the principal fishing community in the area. At that time, fishing was confined to line fishing for cod, ling and haddock, in boats no larger than 14 tons. Development of the industry was limited by the lack of a proper harbour and disputes amongst the three owners of the various boats. One of these, Alexander, 4th Duke of Gordon, decided to establish a new village just to the west of the tiny community of Golachy, which comprised but a few houses in the area, that is now Gordon Street, Port Gordon. Work was underway on the harbour in 1795, and stone was shipped from Rossymouth in 1796. In 1797, houses were built for 10 fishermen and their families, from Nether Bucky, the western side of Bucky. This was the third new village the Duke had established, but unlike Fokkebus and Tomital before, this was a small adventure and little planning was done with regards to street layout. Thank you. 
Diary 30th July 2020 Thursday and Lindsay is on nights. I am sneaking out for a crafty extra night away. After Lindsay left for work, I left for the west side of Portsmouth Gordon near the sea. Settled in and kettle on, I wrote Lindsay a message to let her know I was there. I forgot to send it. Oops, oh dear, I forgot. Another lovely Moray sunset. It's been a, a good day. We've, uh, or rather, I have sat and watched the birds, watched the seals, no dolphins, and now we get to watch the sun sink through the clouds and below the horizon. Lindsay he arrives tomorrow and we may have surprise visitors. More of that if we get them. Thirty first of July twenty twenty. Up and breakfasting. It's only nine AM and already twenty three C. It's going to be a scorcher. The car park is busy. This morning, mostly dog walkers. The weather is warm and breezy. The temperature is climbing all the time. Locals are all being friendly and saying hello. I recovered the chairs from under the bed and spent most of the day outside in the sun. There is plenty of bird life today, plus grey seals, but so far, no dog. Lindsay had put in soup for my lunch, but it's definitely not a soup day today. 27 degrees outside and higher inside. In the afternoon I played radio. I was going to try a new method of keeping the mask up. However, the paste is lying at my desk. Oh well, next time. I sat out until well after 10pm and watched the sun slowly set. I was surprised to see a salmon leap in the water off the beach. It must have been chased by a seal. There is just time for a copper and then it's bedtime. No drama tonight. I set out to take a time lapse of the tide on its way in. But with the patterns of water in the sand, I got so much more than I'd bargained for.
1st of August 2020. It's Saturday already. Breezy and bright but not quite as hot today. Lindsay will be here later but so will be a surprise set of visitors. However, if you watch their channel, maybe not so much of a surprise. I flew the drone and headed west towards Spay Bay. Then it was downwind back to the van. Later our friends Kevin and Sarah turned up and got parked. No sign of Lindsay yet. Kept along and Kevin and Sarah settled in. We sat chatting, watching seals and drinking tea. Lindsay soon arrived. Later, Lindsay, Kev and Sarah walked to the ice house. It was going to, I was going to go but had trouble with my legs. I did fly the drone again though. We chatted the evening away, nearly forgetting to eat. But Lindsay made her standby. Cheese and bacon rolls. We had a lovely day and a dram to finish. Oh, I nearly forgot. Kev also flew his drone. Second of August, 2020. Up and at the day. A light shower before we got up, but not a bad weather day. Kev flew his drone again. Lindsay and Sarah went for a walk, but not before we had bacon bodies. Lindsay and Sarah left Kev and me to do a tour of their van conversion. We looked at the build as well. Video will be sometime in September, I should think. Maybe it's later than that. We looked at the build as well as just doing a tour. A very interesting build and it works well. Sarah and Lindsay returned and we chilled for the rest of the day. Also too, too soon, Lindsay and I had to head for home, but Kev and Sarah were spending the night before heading south.
wildlife. Grey seal, large white butterfly, white-tailed bumblebee, honeybee, large heath butterfly, small tortoiseshell butterfly, cranefly, red-tailed bumblebee, salmon, bottlenose dolphin. Birds, Gusanda, blackbird, red-breasted meganza, black-headed gull, carrion crow, house sparrow, swallow, feral pigeon, rook, meadow pipit, herring gull, cormorant, snow bunting, pied wagtail, wood pigeon, sandwich tern, house martin, jackdaw, ida, shell duck, oyster catcher, gannet, osprey, hooded crow, curlew, swift, linnet, yellowhammer, chaffinch, reed bunting, twight, sparrowhawk, common sandpiper. Oh, Ruby! Ruby! Look, look, who's that? Who's this? Ruby! Up here. <laughs> <laughs> Smile at the camera. Yeah. Never work with animals or kids. <laughs> Come on, Ruby, swing it. That's it, got her. Got her. Thank you for watching Desmond Stoners. We'll hope you'll join us again. For more photos, waffle, and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.